Hey everyone, it's Colin. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to review what is probably the world's worst tripod. I picked this up at a pretty big discount store here in the U.S. I don't want to name names because, well, I feel sorry for their purchasing department for having gotten duped into stocking these. I'll give you a clue, they were involved in a pretty big credit card breach just a couple of months ago. This thing cost a whopping 15 bucks. I was in a little bit of a hurry to pick it up because I've got an event later in the week that I just needed a second, short, inexpensive tripod for, just for kind of second angle type of stuff. The one that I got has this lovely hole in the side of it. This was actually the best box that they had. The other ones they had in stock were in even worse shape in that the top was completely smashed down, so maybe this was a bit of an omen. Anyway, let's get this thing taken out of the box and take a look at it and see why it's such a pile of garbage. And your first impression is the cardboard is even really, really cheap. It's just, it's thin and it's super flimsy. It doesn't give you a very good impression of what's inside. Now, it does include the tripod in a bag, so you get this kind of bag. It's got the, uh, the Targus logo on the side, although if I were them, I wouldn't put that on there. Because um, I think that's doing more harm than good. And even this bag is just super, it's like, it's not even like real nylon. I don't know what the heck that is. It's like the kind of material you, you buy a bag of oranges in at the grocery store or something. And it's in another bag, a bag in a bag. And then you're left with this. And it's supposed to be aluminum. And it's, it certainly is lightweight. So, I mean, if they were going for lightweight, I'll give them that, but... Ooh, it just feels so cheap. And it's coming out of the box with marks and scratches on it already. Do you see that? Uh, the plastic is just super, super cheap, flimsy plastic. This is the worst possible plastic that you can get. And the other thing is when you lock the legs down like that, there's no way to keep this part down. I've used other tripods that have had this type of mechanism before, but it's usually got some kind of locking collar and you tighten it down and then the legs stay out. This thing is just like they could flip around at any time. The, the legs, when you extend them and latch them down, they're still like really flimsy. And what's worst is this thinnest section, when you get some weight on it, it starts to bend. Let's get this thing all extended out so you can see how tall it is when it's done. And then I'll show you what the, uh, it's not even really a ball head, is it? What the, the head on it is like and why that thing sucks too. So here it is in all of its horrible glory. And the first thing that really kind of tells you this thing isn't all that stable is when you grab it and push down, like it bounces around and like it doesn't stay put. And you know, any tripod really is supposed to stay put when you push down on it. So I don't know why they couldn't design one that stays put. So let's take a look at the head on this thing. It's not by any means a ball head. It's a plastic head, I guess. It goes in all the directions that, you know, a tripod head is supposed to go. But, oh man, it's not smooth. It's really, really plasticky. And it takes a lot of force if you want to lock it down. Like, you really got it. And even then, it still wants to move. I mean, look at that. And when I first got it, so it's like, this is still loose, right? I, I first got it and I'm like, okay, well, I'll just tighten it down a little bit, you know? And of course the thing's all walking around on you while it's doing it. So I tighten it down like that and it's like, well, it's still, and I'm, I'm, sque I'm turning this knob down here pretty hard and it's still, you know, what the hell? So I'm, I'm tightening it more and more and it's still, I mean, that thing is almost all the way in. Do you see that? This is junk. And you've got to really get it like on the last couple of threads, then it finally stays put. Dare I even extend this all the way up and try and lock it down and see how flimsy it is? Look at that. I'm not pushing down that hard. A breeze would be enough to cause vibration in your pictures. That's, what is that? Yeah, let's put that thing down. I'm done. I'm done looking at you with your head sticking up like that. Go back down. And the rest of this is just junk too, so it's... You know, it does all of that, and you've got this knob over here, and that's, you know, kind of, you know. And it'll also turn on its side, which, yeah, that's great. They only give you the one bubble level 
for, you know, like this. How am I supposed to know if I'm perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal if you don't give me a bubble level here? And then getting the plate out, I mean, that's not bad, but look at this plate. At least they give you bother to give you the video pin. It's a retractable one. So, you know, that's fine. But the thing is, is it still protrudes. You see that? It still protrudes even when you push it all the way in. So that means your camera is never going to sit perfectly flat on the plate. It's such a pain to try and reach in there to turn this tiny little thing to lock it onto your, your camera. And then when you're done, you've got to get this in just the right place. So God help you if, if it's tightened all the way down when it's like that, this thing will never sit properly back in the top of the head. It's got to be exactly over there or see, I can't even get it back out again. Come on piece of junk or exactly over there anyway and so when you do finally get that on there it's a pain to try and get this thing to latch latch back in and then you gotta push it down real hard I mean just look at how flimsy these legs are like really you you expect me to put my multi thousand dollars worth of camera equipment on this I hope not I hope I hope Targus doesn't take themselves too seriously with this product because I know I wouldn't put anything but like a hundred dollar point and shoot on that and even then it would have to be a point and shoot that I hated. So what am I going to do with this thing? Well, you know, I had thought let's just send it out in dramatic fashion and throw it under a bus or smash it, you know, against a brick wall. But, you know, that's... That's letting this thing go and not have to atone for itself. As such, I can think of no better thing to do with this than to loosen it all up, put it back in the original plastic bag, put the plastic bag back in the cheap, flimsy carrying case, cinch the carrying case back up, put the carrying case back in the box, fold up the flaps on the box, and then take it back to the store to get my money back. Thanks for watching.